sex sucks for perimenopausal and especially menopausal women, but it doesn't have to. Specific challenges include decline in sexual desire due to hormone changes. So as your testosterone and progesterone go down, your libido goes down. As your estrogen goes down, you get vaginal dryness. You get something that sounds awful, vaginal atrophy, which is the thinning of the tissues, which then diminishes sensitivity. And if you can't feel it, there goes your motivation. Uh, hot flashes, night sweats, and poor sleep can affect your mood and make you tired. So obviously, you're not going to be interested in sex. Weight gain. By the time you're perimenopausal or menopausal, you might have gained way too much weight. And that affects your stamina, affects how you feel inside your body but also affects body image so you might be hiding and avoiding sexual interactions um, then again because of the loss of estrogen you get urinary tract infections and no one feels sexy having one and even afterwards it takes a while for your body to um, calibrate itself recalibrate itself because of the um, antibiotics you take so it messes up with your digestive system makes you uncomfortable obviously not the best setup for a fun night uh, mood swings and depression definitely kill go time uh, yeah if you're angry at your partner and you're depressed the last thing on your mind is getting naked and doing something then there's the weird cultural and social attitudes towards older women having sex as if it's sort of like in Disneyland when you have to be this tall to ride on the ride, you have to be this old to have sex. Now, like, why is that towards women but not towards guys? If guys can screw around in their 70s and have a good time, why can't women be expected to possibly be interested in the same thing then there's probably the worst part is relationship dynamics because if you've been with the same partner for a while you have all these buttons you push you have all these resentments towards each other you're not really that interested in each other physically been there done that and especially if you've never really had a good sex life before now it's gonna feel even more like a big drag so what to do about getting the spark back and having a good time again? So the number one rule is use it or lose it. So, okay, if you're single, what do you do? Yeah, you can still use it or lose it. <laughs> there are ways for you, you know, play with yourself, get toys, whatever. Have friends <laughs> that you see on certain nights or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can figure it out, but you've got to use it or you're gonna lose it. The orgasms that you get, the lubrication that you get through stimulation is actually gonna keep your tissues healthier and your hormones in a better balance. Then there's, again, hormone replacement therapy. If the issue is decreasing hormones, you can talk to your doctor about how do you address that. And, and if hormone replacement therapy is an option for you, I strongly recommend it. It's not an option for everybody. But that's why you need to discuss it with your doctor. And it's going to take care of a lot of the issues that are hormone related. Okay, then vaginal estrogen. So maybe that's an option for you. Um, it turns out that, you know, there's like a ring that you can put in there. There's There are creams that you can use on whatever schedule. But introducing estrogen right on the tissues makes a huge difference, eliminates vaginal dryness and greatly decreases the frequencies of urinary tract infections. Then the obvious one, so see when, when you have vaginal dryness, it makes it really hard, uncomfortable, even painful to have intercourse. So the easiest solution, even if you don't have access to vaginal estrogen, is to use lots of lubricants and moisturizers and see where that goes and start slow don't rush it <laughs> let things loosen up 
Then a big one is stress management and taking care of your mental health. And I talked about it in this video, previous video. So you can head over there after here and then learn more about stress management. But stress kills sex, even in younger couples, in younger people. So you need to take care of that. And then remember that intimacy leads to satisfying sexual encounters so things as you get older don't have to look the way they looked when you were younger so your sex life can look very differently and things can take a little while you might need a different way to go about it before you just you go for it <laughs> and you know it's not a secret that a lot of women younger women don't get orgasms but when they're younger it's not painful it might be just kind of like they think about intercourse as necessary evil and whatever but when you get older you don't really want to put up with that and if you actually do want to feel satisfied and happy uh, you're going to have to communicate with your partner, create more intimacy in your life. So more physical connection, more emotional connection. And, you know, things will kind of lead in the right direction. <laughs> and then from then, you might find out that you like different things now than you used to like before. So this is a good time to experiment and explore maybe some toys, maybe some different lifestyle stuff. I see a lot of women when they kind of get to that midlife or menopause, pre perimenopausal, menopausal area time, decide to like explore with, uh, you know, if they have a partner, they start swinging. There's all kinds of options out there. Are you aware of them? What's interesting to you? I once had a 70 year old female client telling me that she was done with men and she was now more interested and curious about having sexual relationships with other females at 70. <laughs> so everybody's different. Who are you? What do you like? What are you curious about? This is a good time to start exploring. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up, subscribe, share in the comments your experiences, what helped you, what were your challenges, and let's keep the conversation going because it's a conversation that's not very prominent out there. There's stigma, there's personal shame, there's confusion, there's ignorance and there's just the part where society is kind of done with women after menopause i don't know but women have a lot of vitality well past their menopause and there's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to have a vibrant and satisfying sex life so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one